This is the lesson about neuron and its organelles. First, I draw the neuron body, which contains the nucleus. So, this is the neuron body. And this over here is the nucleus. It also contains the nissle body, which I will draw later. It contains also the regular cell organelles and sometimes a pigment. Dendrites are protoplasm extensions of cell body. They are supposed to receive the signal and conduct it towards the cell body. The place where they receive the signal is called the synapse. To learn about the synapses, please watch next video. Another protoplasm extension, an axon, starts here with a thick origin. Then it gets thinner and continues on with approximately the same radius till its end. Right around it there are glia cells that protect it and all together is called the nerve fiber. Now dependable whether there is myelin in the glia, it can be non-myelinated nerve fiber or myelinated nerve fiber. And just to write it down, the nerve fiber was glia plus axon. Okay. Now, as I said, it can be myelinated or non-myelinated nerve fiber. Myelin is the electrical material. That means it electrically insulates the axon and the axon transfers the signal faster. The axon transfers the signal from the cell body towards the end of the axon and the end of the axon is called the axon terminal. The axon can also give side branches but they're not very often. Now you probably noticed that there are gaps in the myelin sheet. Those gaps are called the nodes of Ranier. They are approximately one micrometer long. And as I mentioned in the beginning, there is an isle body, which is practically just the rough endoplasmic reticulum, which is supposed to produce the proteins. This was a short lesson about neuron and its organelles. Please check out my website, flashbrainanatomy.com.